We're in the middle of nowhere. Absolute middle of nowhere on the way to Melbourne. Big money? Is yeah, that... big money. Big money? Pay little money for him. Pay retail. <laughs> Hey, what up and welcome to another episode of Crease Teeth. And it feels like it's been forever, man. It just, it does. It feels like it's been forever. We obviously were meant to have the wrestling episode um, covering sneakers in WrestleMania on the Tuesday last week. But WWE put a squash on that. So copyright claim, couldn't do anything. <sighs> Tried fair use, didn't hear nothing back. I don't know, but... We were going to have a review on the Thursday, but they just didn't rock up in time. So it's unfortunate, but they rocked up while I was away in Melbourne. But you probably already know if you follow the IG and everything like that. I was in Melbourne for the last almost week. I am home now. I've got a lot of editing to do and this trip was nuts. Like. Let's just get into it. Usually when I go to Melbourne, I take a lot of shivers, but I'm being very conservative. This time we got something for comfort, comfort with a bit of style, and something to flex on them. That's all we're doing. Unless I buy stuff or change my mind in the next five minutes, but yeah. Literally on the way to go pick up Adam, and there's just like a massive car accident on the way. So like I've been stuck in this traffic, and usually I would have been there three, four times over, but can you do they're on the way um, just got the confirmation email from Nike too so we will be going to the Nike employee store I don't know if he wants me to mention him but shout outs to my guy starting to move a little bit but throw in like peak out traffic with an accident not a good combination we are in the middle of nowhere, central New South Wales, on our way to the kickstand event in Melbourne. We've just had a great time with some locals playing pool and stuff. Adam, what do you reckon? You to you look tired. Oh, yeah, I am. We had a five hour and a bit trip to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Dead pubs, but a few decent locals. And so old mate was flexing his uh, barley dunks. Um, he was like, some girl was like, oh, those, sh those shoes look cool. And we're like... Straight away, you could see by like the creasing and everything that they look fake straight away, yeah. I knew something was off with them, I didn't realize that they were fake. I didn't know you were talking about the shoes being from Bali. Yeah, he's like, Yeah, I only paid a hundred dollars from them and they're from Bali. And I'm like, a hundred dollars for some fakes? Pay 20 bucks from JD Sports on sale if you wanted to. You pay like you, they saw you coming, bro. I can't see a thing. We're in the middle of nowhere. Absolute middle of nowhere on the way to Melbourne. We just went to a little country town and went to a skate shop and you will never believe what was sitting on shelves. Sold out everywhere, resellers are going crazy with them. The big money joints? I don't know what they're called. Big money? Is yeah, that big money. Big money? Paid little money for them, pay retail. <laughs> Crazy. Not my size though, it's like a nine, so I'm hoping maybe I can trade at the TKS event. That's why we're heading there. We're gonna be going to the Nike employee store today too. But we're just in the middle of nowhere, at a nice little rail crossing and we might get some photos, so. So we, first leg of the trip, went to a town in country New South Wales where my grandmother lives, right? There's a skate shop there, and we happen to find the Big Money SBs. I can't remember. It's like Big Money Savings, I think it is. And they're incredible. They're honestly incredible. Um, but they only had them in a size 9. So my hope was to get them, take them to the kickstand event, and trade them maybe for my size. Or maybe even like some stores in Melbourne, trade them for my size. We'll see. Worst case scenario, maybe I'll hit up the guys a good kid, but, but the details on these are nuts. I really like the Nike kit on the back. You've also got like an old like sewing sort of pattern there, crochet or whatever. The rope laces, reminiscent of a Travis vibe. This material here, it's kind of like a 
hemp or hessian sack maybe but this this is crazy it's like a paisley like chrome sort of look the tongue's really nice too like everything about this is really nice there's no real hype for it it's not a collab it's just a random sort of shoe but got the grind on the sole I really like these, so I will be trying to get my size. If you want a 9 for retail assist or you want to trade for the 10, hit me up. What do you reckon of them? It's definitely unique. Never thought I'd see this material on a shoe. Don't know what that is, the plastic on it. It's different. Then even like the inner sole's quite nice. The Nike sign on the back's different. It's like an old grandma's house vibes on the shoe. It's different. I like the rope laces. It's kind of like Travis vibes, isn't it? You don't see many um, rope laces on the SBs. No, nah, well, twice that I know of. That and the Travis. Yeah, good shoe. He's like my grandmother's kind of house. You got the retro fours on, the reimagined fours. Yep. How comfortable are they in comparison to the SB fours? On the same level as them, actually. But I don't know if that's because these are a 10.5 and, and my SB fours are a 10. So, but these are definitely hella comfortable. One of the more but comfortable you can fits. fit size 7 to 14, so... <laughs> I wish. On the second day of the journey, because we stayed overnight in the country town, we did a little bit of touristy stuff. We were, you know, about ready for lunch. Saw Glen Rowan not far over the border, and it's famous for Ned Kelly. That's where the last dam was, everything like that. So you've got everything in the town is themed Ned Kelly. I think I even like paid two bucks for a coin or something, but I didn't have, we didn't have time for the animatronics and everything like that, but so much cool stuff here and the food was great. So if you're ever doing this crazy drive that we did, go to Glen Rowan and check it all out. One day I've got to do the proper tour and see the museum, but Fun. Let's get a souvenir gold coin. It's like a replica of a one pound. It's like a bit of shop or a museum. Have you ever been to somewhere like this? No. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never knew this place existed. Who <laughs> <laughs> did those? Prince for sale. Yeah, go mate. Wanted. That's crazy. Songs for peace, lazy Harry. Ned Kelly gift store. I don't need Google, my wife knows everything. <laughs> That's brilliant. Do you want a Ned Kelly shirt? No, Get some drip for uh, the event. I had these at um, Gundagai years ago. So I put one on my head. The mural's really dope. Funny, last time I came here, nothing was open, eh? It was Anzac Day you are saying, wasn't it? I don't know. Huh? Can't remember. You have another one? Ned oh, Kelly yeah. statue oh, bus... Yeah. bus stop. <laughs> There's a big bopper there. I can't see. There he is. You 
got to get the, the angles. It's crazy even in a place like this, people are going nuts with the stickers. I reckon this place is for box school holidays. KOS, 6Gs, a few things. I know on post office. It's crazy the whole town like just relies on Ned Kelly. Do you think people get sick of hearing about Ned Kelly Probably. around here? I reckon. But if you're dedicated to hard making your money off it, pop off. I've got some world famous King Valley popcorn. 100% natural, gluten free. This is like salted caramel popcorn. I yeah, should try it. Hold up. If it's shit, I will say. The lady was lovely in there. It seems like everyone here is lovely, to be honest. Country towns are just different, bro. I don't even know how to open this. God damn it. I feel like I'm gonna break it. There was like a thing where you could literally taste test before you bought it, and I was just like, nah, I'll just run with it. That's nice. Oh shit. Come on, fam. Not bad little apartment. The bed here. Couple of pairs. How cute is this for a single bloke? He's a nurse. And in the shower as well. Done really well. What we're about to do right now is go to the Nike employee store. And um, who knows what we're going to see. At the very least, I would like to see... I'd love to see those blue and white DNs to get them 40% off would be crazy. We we're talking before the um, the Jordan 1 lows would be dope too. The the neutral grey ones. Yeah. Um you never know, like ivories would be crazy, 40% off ivories. Otherwise, like I was waiting for a pair to come. They probably arrived today, but we'll just see. See what's about. Let's go. We can't film in there, so I'm gonna have to be sneaky maybe. We'll see. A while back when I did the video saying what is happening at Nike, right? Because everyone was saying that Nike's fallen off, all this, all these other brands are making up percentage in the market share. But all it really came down to was like, if Nike's already here, it's hard to go much further. If you're down here, it's easy to make up percentage and that sort of thing. But Nike's obviously still at the top. We, we all know this. This is not anything crazy. But someone from Nike saw the video and reached out to me. And we had a good conversation. And then they said, have you ever been to the employee store? I have. But last time I went there, I didn't really get much. There was, I think I got a pair of Farachis. Maybe even my first pair, to be honest. Because I'd never had a pair. I was there. I had to get something, I felt like. But the Nike employee store is only for employees and their guests. You have to get an invite. It's it's in a very nonchalant type building, everything like that. And I was fortunate enough to get the invite. So me and Adam went there. Yeah, but 40% off. Oh, man. The ivories, crazy. Not much filming in there because I don't know in terms of filming. I've heard previously that it's not really a thing that happens there. But in the Nike employee store, they had Jordans this time, they had Air Maxes, they had the DNs. And honestly, if they had the DNs in that blue and white colorway I've been checking for, I would have copped them for sure. I managed to get, I want to say like a Nike SB t-shirt and I've got some Jordan 3 Ivories. 
We all know I love my Jordan 3, so it's no great surprise that I've got these interesting features with the double logo and the double like, mudguard type thing on the back as well. Then you've also got the double logo. A lot of people are saying this is a poor man's Armand. Yeah, I'm all for that. I really like the colorway. I've been wearing these since I got them. I think I had them on after the kickstand event and I've been wearing them non-stop. So I'm gonna wear them for a week, give them a nice little review. Maybe that's after all the Melbourne stuff, I don't know. But these are really dope. Crazy that they sold out everywhere online. I, I wanna say I saw them in maybe one store. Probably the Jordan store. I think I saw them in there while I was in Melbourne, but outside of that, they sold out everywhere. I already had a pair on the way, another spoiler, but what do we get them for? $174. Crazy. The t-shirt was 60 bucks down to 36. I feel like a t-shirt should be about 36 bucks, so I'm not mad at that. 210, got a t-shirt and a pair of Jordans. That's crazy. But after that, we went to the outlets. I reckon Ollie P would love these. I don't know. They're called Youth of Paris. Cool. 59 bucks. Osmore. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Different shelter. Same like that. 64 bucks. They're insane. They were like 300 or something? Yeah, 300 retail, which is crazy. 150 is about where I'd pay. Oh, yeah. This one's 159. 180, though. Yeah, the best colors, dearest. It's almost like a Yeezy, eh? Still in You already have a look at it. Jordan 1 polo. Let's have it at the back. Yeah, I don't know. I'll give it to somebody. What do you reckon? Will they suit me? So we ended up going to the employee store, got the Ivory 3s for like crazy price, insane. Went to outlets as well, got a couple of bits and pieces, some clothing, but two pairs in one day already, it has been an expensive trip already. 
I did bring in a couple of pairs, so hopefully we can ship some of them, get some more money coming in, so we can get some more pairs while we're here. But tomorrow we're doing the the meetup at lunch. Um, we actually had dinner with JP, Micah, and Hendo, and didn't film anything. We just kind of did our thing. I got some shots of the boys what were their on feet, but um, yeah, day two. Coming at you. I actually went nuts at the outlets. Got myself this uh, Rodman t-shirt, Mitchell and Ness was 90 bucks down to, I want to say 40. And then I got, I think like a North Face hoodie that was like two, maybe $300 down to like 100 bucks or something. So I spent a lot of money at the outlets. In that day, like those two days, right? That's two days. Got the SB Dunks, got the Ivory 3s, t-shirt, hoodie, and then like, on top of that, we went out to dinner with Micah, Hendo, and JP, um, they, to this place called Le Bon Ton, and it was incredible. Just share plates, everything, brisket, pulled pork, chicken, I can't recommend it enough. If you're going to Collingwood, not that many people would go to Collingwood, but that place was dope and it didn't seem as sketchy as anywhere else I've been in Collingwood, so. But that'll about do it for this episode. I want to say between what everything I've got here, all the footage and everything, it's probably going to be like three or four episodes. Um... Yeah, I think four. I think four. We were there, what? In Melbourne, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, left Monday. So, was there for quite a while. Saw some crazy stuff. Did some crazy stuff. The Nike employees store getting the ivories for 174 is insane. I almost pulled the trigger on the Jordan 2 Low Pythons as well. Been looking at them for ages to get them 40% off insane again like the dns if they had the blue and white ones i would have got them as well but we had a lot of fun in melbourne caught up with a lot of people you'll see all that i may do three episodes this week i don't know we got to play catch up last week we didn't really do much or we did nothing nothing actually came out but the work was done I promise you maybe one day the membership maybe it comes out as a members only i don't know but this has been another episode of Crease Teep. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. We'll be back twice a week. Peace.